Alright, what's going on y'all? It's Coop here, one half of FCSN, and it is that time of the week to break down the highs we watch, where people stand, where I think they'll end up. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this breakdown. At the number four spot in the Heisman Watch, I have got Todd Gurley of Georgia, and he is only in the spot because his team took a loss. Um, he got limited carries versus Troy, but he looked good in that game. He is definitely the best running back in America, in my opinion, and I would think he will work his way up this list later on the season when other teams start to drop games. But it's not fair to throw him up there if his team has lost and other people on this list are undefeated and making just as much of an impact as he is. So I got Todd Gurley at number four, but it's definitely somebody to watch up to get to the top by the end of the season. Next up, this is a shocker. Not many people are giving this guy respect, but I have Amari Cooper. I mean, he scored three touchdowns last week versus Florida, and I think that gives him five on the season, uh, either five or six on the season. He has been the cog that gets that Alabama offense running. I mean, they've always relied on the run game, but he adds a whole new element to it because they just go into him often this year. Like last year, they go to him deep. They checked down a couple times to him, but the run game was the focus. This year, now with the addition of Lane Kiffin, they've definitely gotten Amari Cooper way more involved, and he is putting up monster numbers. I'm very impressed with Amari Cooper. He came up big time in the SEC win over Florida last week. So I have Amari Cooper at number three. Definitely somebody to watch out for the rest of this season. Next up at number two spot, I have got Kenny Hill. Kenny Trill, whatever you want to call it. He is legit, man. Kenny Hill is a player. That Kevin Summon offense allows any quarterback just to go wide up there and throw it wide open. And Kenny Hill is a great player that goes out there and excels in his role. This Texas A&M team is going to be fun to watch. They've put up a lot of points. The defense is improved for them. And uh, I think Kenny Hill is a legitimate Heisman contender. We'll see how Texas A&M does in that SEC West. I think they may drop a few games. But regardless, Kenny Hill needs to be in Heisman talk. I have him at the number two spot. Then at the number one spot overall, I have Marcus Mariota, who threw five, count them, five touchdown passes last week against Washington State. He just boosted his Heisman stock even more. They had a Pac-12 game. I know Washington State isn't the best of teams, but Marcus Mariota came up big when his team needed him most, threw some big-time touchdowns, and right now he's the best player on the best team in college football. No one's knocking off Marcus Mariota off of his throne at this point. I have him at the Heisman frontrunner. With that said, though, let's go ahead and jump into some bubble people who I think are just outside of this top four. All right, so here are the people I have on that bubble. At the last spot out of the bubble, I have Nick Marshall. He keeps the offense, Auburn offense going. He's a good player, not the best quarterback, but he makes plays regardless, and he's on a great team, top five team for sure. And uh, I just have Nick Marshall on here just because he's a good player, he's making plays, and he's on a good team. So it's almost you can't count him out, but at the same time, he's not that great of a quarterback, so you can't really put him on any much higher on the list. But Nick Marshall definitely deserves some high consideration. I would, I would say there's a chance by years, and he earns an invite to New York at the most and finish maybe in the top five, top four, around there. Watch out for Nick Marshall because if Aubrey continues to win, then his stock improves as well. Next up, I've got Everett Golston. Notre Dame has shocked some people this year. They have played better than expected. They have some big games coming up, and Everett Golston has a chance to really boost his stock after taking a year off from college football. Watch out for Everett Golston because he makes some big plays in those big games. He could be toward that front runner, but it could go vice versa with him. Everett Golston can almost be all the way out of this thing, or he can move himself all the way up to the top with the games he has coming up. We'll see with Everett Golston. He's capable, but it's going to be really tough. Next up, we have Trevor Knight. He dropped on my list for me because he wasn't the key player last week in the game against West Virginia. Um, because they haven't played as many games last year, right now every game means a lot for your whole body of work. And because he didn't play, I wouldn't say he played bad, it's just he didn't. He wasn't the main reason they won. I don't think he threw a touchdown pass, so I had him drop a little bit. But Trevor Knight is definitely somebody that will work his way up back up there. Um, and continue, if Oklahoma continues to win, you can't count him out. And then at the number one spot in the bubble, Melvin Gordon. Oh my goodness, what a week he had. I think he was pushing 300 yards, five touchdowns. I know it was Bowling Green, but he proved he could do it versus a legitimate SEC defense in LSU. And he just ran well in every game this season. Melvin Gordon is one of the best running backs in the country. I think he may be uh, Ty Adula from uh, Nebraska for a second, pushing Ty Gurley. And uh, he's definitely a legitimate Heisman contender. If he continues to play like this the remainder of the Big Ten schedule, watch out for Melvin Gordon. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Down in that comment section below, let me know who I'm missing out on, who I'm sleeping on. Say, hey, Cooper, 
this guy, he's been playing great. You need to keep, count him in next time. Maybe watch out for this guy. Maybe my order was messed up. Let me know who you think the high or front runner is. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Want to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Cooper underscore sports for updates when I'll be uploading and talk sports in general. And yes, yeah, Cooper signing out.